is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video today we're back in the garage and we are getting things ready for the new jersey trip we've got a nine hour trip coming up in the m4 gts a couple of last minute things that we're changing up and then i've got a bunch of things that i'm packing up for the trip itself We've got track armor, gonna be throwing this on the front the day before we leave. Got a package here from IND. Gonna be changing up some things with the wing, and then I'll show you guys some of the things that I'm bringing along for the trip, as well as some of the things that I've done to prep for this trip. So it is about a nine hour drive to the Keys Auto Show in New Jersey. Shouldn't be too bad. This is Atlantic City that we're driving to from Charlotte, North Carolina. We get a few people coming with us. It's gonna be a really good time, but let's get into the install first, which is going to be the risers on the wing. So there are basically three variations of wing risers that you guys can get for the GTS wing. Now remember, this is a wide angle camera, so it makes everything look really big. Like it makes this wing look super wide right now when it's not actually that wide. It's the same size as the trunk. If you look at it like this, it looks like it's like seven feet long. That's not the case. Same thing if you use like my arm, it looks like it's six feet long right now. Well, it's not just because you're using a very wide camera. So it's gonna be kind of hard to show perspective with this, but I will take the car out afterwards and take some actual photos of the car from far away so you can see the differences in the wing. But basically right now, this is the factory M4 GTS wing with the factory end plates. These risers are the RKP high risers. Now they are the tallest ones that basically the majority of people get and they measure out to 11 inches. Then you can go to these ones which are in between the factory and the tallest ones. These are called the GT4 risers. Bam, so these are the GT4 ones. They're a little bit shorter if you're looking at them in length. The GT4 risers are about nine inches in length. So you're dropping two inches from the high risers, which I think is gonna be a really good height. Factory ones are really short. Like they're very, very, very short. I also like the fact that these look a little like beefier than these ones. If you look at the width, between the two, these are almost double the width of the RKP high risers. So all of the holes and everything are in the same spot. You just get a much thicker design. And I think that these are gonna look a hell of a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on today. Obviously I got them in satin black. You can get them in the silver finish as well. The install is pretty easy. I've done this before. Um, in order to put these black ones on, I had to do this, but you just want to start with the sides right here. You've got a couple of torques on each side. You're gonna start with those, pop the wing off, and then we're going to remove the actual trunk liner, which would be like the same process if you were swapping out the taillights or something. And then once you do that, you're gonna have metal bracket plates in here that actually are the reinforcements for the bottom of the wing. So take off the top of the wing, then take off the risers, and then throw back on the new risers and then throw back on the wing. This is a lot easier if you have two people. It's gonna be a little bit difficult with just me, but I'll be able to get it done. Sick. I think I'll just rock it like this. All right, so here's our wing mounts, which is kind of nice on the GTS. Everything is super functional. The actual mounting bracket connects to this portion of the trunk, makes this thing much more sturdy rather than just grabbing into the skin of the trunk. It's got actual mounting brackets. So for these, I believe it's T30s or T35s. You got two of them on each side. Obviously just hold the wing mount when you're taking it off. Got the two next to each other so you can see how much thicker this one is. The holes are still the exact same, same lineup, so everything's the same, but they're just a little bit shorter and a little bit thicker, and I think they look a lot better on the GTS. A friend of mine had these, and that's kind of how I knew to go with them. So for these bolts in here, I like to put just a little bit of, a little bit of Loctite, um, just use the medium strength stuff because they're not the longest screws in the world. And when I took off my other ones, I noticed that they were a little bit loose. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on there to make sure that they stay in there nice and good. So let's go ahead and put it in the first one. All right, got them both on. And what I like to do when I'm doing this part is I actually leave them pretty loose. So when you put this on, you can flex it enough to make them fit just right. And then I'll go ahead and work on the bottom side because you'll see that you're gonna want a little bit of adjustability when doing this. So. Kind of 
kind of hard to tell the height in here. It looks, again, it looks, just looks super high when you're up close to it because of the wide angle. But um, these are much more fitting to the car, I think, than the other ones. I also ordered the M235 IR end plates, which are just these pieces right here. And they're much larger than just like the little carbon ones. And they are just satin black. So you lose the carbon on the side, you only have the carbon on top, and then you have these satin black M235 IR end plates. They're a lot bigger than these two. They have a much larger design to them. But those are on back order, so I'm waiting on IND to ship those out. Um, this actually turned out really good. I think this looks a lot better. I'm gonna throw back in all of the uh, stuff for the trunk. Some other things that I ended up picking up for the trip up there was some new tires. And <laughs> not that my Cup 2s were <laughs> worn at all. They were pretty much brand new. But um, I got another set of Super Sports and I really only got these for the ride up to the Keys Auto Show because there is a little bit of rain in the forecast. And if you know anything about tires and you know Sport Cup 2s, you do not want to be caught in the rain on some Sport Cup 2s because it's like ice skating. So I picked up some Super Sports just to play it safe. Pretty much only got these for the ride up to the show. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a waste, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes to just make sure you play it safe. So we got some fresh tires all the way around in the car. Same size as 275, 35, 19 front, 305, 35, uh, 19 back. And I think it looks really good. Got the car all detailed up, had some minor dings removed from the rear section just to make sure that she's 100. And um, yeah, so we're just packing up. We're getting ready. We've got all of our detail stuff right here. Any, you know, tools that I could possibly maybe need, hopefully not, torque wrench, stuff like that. And then I've got some distilled water for the water injection. However, I really don't think I'm gonna need it. I've never really had to even refill that thing. I've had to put in a little bit, but not a lot. Got my washing mitt, a tub, track armor. So this stuff is crucial, man. It's basically just, uh, they call it track tape and you throw it on the front of your car. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I will do it the morning of, the morning that we leave. I'll throw this on. I don't like to leave it on just because I don't want the adhesive to come off on the front end. So I literally just throw it on right before we go up and I take it off when we get there. It's basically just really thick tape. It's like having another layer of PPF and I don't really take my time putting it on. I literally just run it across the entire front of the car, excluding like the grills and stuff. Make sure just in case like a big gnarly rock flies up, it doesn't break anything up front, crack the paint or whatever. So this is just like another little reassurance. I always use this every time that I go to the Keys Auto Show or even Beamer Invasion. Uh, this stuff is pretty awesome. You can get it on Amazon. So just headed over to the gas station, filled up for the last time before we take off. But yeah, man, this, uh, this wing setup looks really good. I'm happy with these risers. Much better fitting. However, I will say that the end plates just look a little bit odd to me without having the actual M235 IR end plates. Those are gonna look a lot better with this setup. They're also gonna match the black and they're a little bit more proportionate to everything that's going on. But you know, it's a work in progress and we'll have it uh, as good as we want it here soon. So yeah, man, she is all, uh, she's ready to go. She's ready to go for the Keys Auto Show. I'm really excited about it. I took some time and did a little bit of detailing on the engine bay, but we'll do the final touch-ups once we get up to New Jersey. I really can't wait to see all of you guys up there, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure if you go to the Keys Auto Show that you come up to me and come over to the tent, say hi. We'll have merch and everything there, and I definitely want to meet you guys and see your rides. All right, so we have quite the journey ahead of us. It's going to be another fun one. I'm definitely going to make another video talking about road tripping in a M4 GTS. It's a very stiff car, so it should be rather interesting road tripping this car up there. But nonetheless, should be a lot of fun. All the guys are hyped. We've got a good caravan of people heading up there. So like I said before, make sure you guys register, get your tickets. Can't wait to meet all of you or see all of you again. It is going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.